All right, we're out here at our Tractor Club Showgrounds. We have our antennas and everything set up. We've been operating a little while. And uh, and here is my antenna. That is a Tar Heel antenna. And there's a stinger right there. And then it also has ground radials coming off of it. Right here is one of them. And there's a, and there's a ground plate and a ground strap. Okay, it's a Tar Heel antenna. It's a uh, it's called a screwdriver antenna. And inside here, there's also a cable I can hook up to it, and I can use it. And it'll rotate up or down, whichever way I need to go to tune whatever tune it on whatever band I need. And when you tune an antenna, you get it where it's resonant on whatever band you're wanting to transmit on. That's what that is. And field day is to set up away from electricity, away from all the amenities and everything, and learn to operate in less than ideal conditions. That's what field day is about. All right, here's my station. I've got my computer, it's a log stuff, and there's my radio and everything right there. Okay, and then I have a battery here. So, that's everything I have set up. November 5, Uniform Yankee Kilo. November 5, Uniform Yankee Kilo. Alright, I was going to show you his setup. This is his spider antenna that he made. And he has a telescopic mask and he has it hooked into the hitch in the back of his truck. And he's been on 40 meters. So. Kilo zero something. He may have so many people calling him he can't hear you. Yeah. Well, when I transmit, this battery drops down to 12.6, so I guess I do need to charge it.
out an antenna. The, the other one, something was wrong and we couldn't get it to work, so we swapped out antennas. And that one right there. But we got it working. So anyway, that's part of field day. It's part of how you learn, how your equipment works, and your radios, and everything else. And there's all kinds of different bands and modes. There's digital, there's HF, there's UHF, VHF. Uh, there's all kinds of, of modes that you can operate during field day. You can have a go-to station, which is get on the air, and that can be for somebody who's never operated radio, who doesn't have a license. And it's also to get people to, to interested in amateur radio so that they might want to get their license. And that's also part of it. But it also lets, and it also lets the public know that we can operate our radios without electricity. That we don't have to have electricity. And we can even throw a wire up into a tree and be able to transmit and, you know, make contacts. And, you know, we don't have to have a lot of power. Yeah, I was talking about having to swap out antennas because we had trouble with the screwdriver antenna that I was using. And we swapped out another one. We got it to work. We were having trouble to get the SWR down where we could transmit safely without messing up the radio or anything. Anyway, that's part of what happens. You have to test, like I said, you test your equipment. And we is, it just got to where, uh, uh, it's, it was hard to make contacts. We tried several different, both of us have tried. We've been both transmitting and we've tried several different people we hear and then we'll try and get them and then we unkey and they either are down